Sizzlers. Today we'll be making some banana nut chocolate chip bread. This recipe is actually one of my favorites and it is highly inspired by Chrissy Teigen's banana chocolate chip bread. I did modify it quite a bit, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it based on her recipe. All right, Sizzlers, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you preheat your oven at 325 degrees. You want to start with your wood ingredients, which would be your bananas, eggs, and oil. We're gonna mix it all together and make sure that you do have some really ripe bananas. This has been in the fridge for about 10 days. You could tell they're ripe because they're obviously very brown. You need about two cups of them, which will be usually three to four bananas, depending on size. I will leave down below the exact description and measurements that I use for this banana nut bread, but we're gonna start with the bananas. Make sure that you open them. You need about two cups, like I said, and as you could tell, these are nice and ripe. We're gonna put them in here and mash them up. So it took three and a half bananas to make two cups of this mashed up banana. We're going to add it into here, along with the four eggs and some canola oil. I do want to apologize for the darkness in here. Um, I don't have a ring light and it's very cloudy day outside, so it's also a perfect day to make some banana nut bread. It is kind of dark, but hopefully you guys can still see everything that I'm doing. Now that all of our wet ingredients are in this bowl, I'm going to mix them with this attachment. I like to mix it with this one because I don't like to have whole bananas in my banana nut bread. So I feel like this one really matches them up together. I like this um, attachment because it's really handy and it's really universal. It's the one that I use the most. This isn't a KitchenAid, but I really like it. I got it for Christmas. So I'm gonna start putting it on low and then gradually speed up. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. I'm not sure if you guys could see there, but it's really mixed together. There's a little bit of bananas that are still whole, but it's not too many. It's very minimal amount, and that's perfect. Now to add our dry ingredients. Now for our dry ingredients, we're gonna be adding some sugar, some flour, a little bit of baking soda, salt, and lastly, a 3.4 ounce banana pudding or vanilla pudding. The banana pudding really enhances the flavor, but sometimes the vanilla pudding is a little bit more subtle. It just depends on what you guys want. Now that our dry ingredients are all there, I'm going to use this to mix it all together. I want to start on low and then gradually speed up. Sometimes you have to stop and scrape the sides and just make sure that it all mixes in really well. Then continue mixing. Now that our mixture is ready, this is what it looks like. It's all nice and thick. We're going to be kneading in some of our nuts. I bought this Hill Country Pecans and they're two ounces. I'm going to add most of them in here and just mix them in. You don't want to let the batter sit for too long because then all of it starts separating since the banana does separate from everything. And also I'm going to be adding some chocolate chips. Chrissy Teigen's recipe calls for dark chocolate chips, but I don't like dark chocolate, so I add milk chocolate. I would say about a cup, maybe a little bit more if you really like chocolate. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be adding some of the nuts in here. I'm not gonna mix them with the mixer because you kinda just want to knead them in there, like I said. I'm going to get my spatula and just hand mix them. Don't like really, really mix them. Just slowly and a little gently. And then add some chocolates, like I said. Um, you're welcome to add however many you want to, if you like more or less. So also just gently mix it in here. This is what our batter ended up looking like with our chocolate chips and our pecans in there. So I'm going to get some of this baking with flour thing that I bought in HEB. And it's already just to spray, so nothing sticks in my bunt. So I'm going to get some of these pecans and I'm going to put them in the bottom just so the top of the cake has some pecans on it. Immediately after, add my mixture. So now that all of our mixture is spread evenly in our bunt, we're going to put it in the oven at 325 degrees for one hour. So it's 15 minutes till it's about ready and I don't open it to show y'all because I heard that if you keep opening the oven when you're baking something, it gets flat. So this is what it looks like and I'll show you guys the final result. It's been exactly one hour and I took it out already. I stuck a toothpick and it's already all fully cooked. As you can see, the edges are kind of coming off from the sides. That's what that flour pan does. And I'm gonna let it cool off for about five minutes so then I could tilt it over. 
I let my cake rest for five minutes and now it's time to turn it over. So I'm going to place it on here. Bam! That's what my cake looks like. That's what my cake looks like. It's so delicious. It smells so good. You can see the chocolate chips. You can see the nuts. It's amazing. I recommend this baking with flour. If you don't have an HEB, then you could buy it the pan. It's really good. The cake doesn't break. It doesn't stick. It's perfect. All right, guys. So this is what our banana nut bread ended up looking like. I'm going to cut it so you guys could see the inside and the pictures. Um, it's so delicious. It smells so good. And it was super easy to make. You just have to wait a couple of days for your bananas to fully ripen because they don't really sell them like that. So don't be discouraged if you guys don't have the professional mixer. You can always do it with a handheld one. I did that for years. Just make sure that you always, always do your wet ingredients first and then your dry ones. I will leave the whole description and everything I used and the exact measurements down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Until next time.